he's sitting right in the chair. Okay, perfect opportunity. <laughs> Come on, they're right by it. Step on it. You're right there. Someone step on my landmine so I can at least take one of you asses out with me. Anyway, that is the story of how I got fired from Jimmy John's. No! Hold it right there. I, uh, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to the only tutorial you'll ever need on how to survive Fallout 4's wasteland on survival difficulty, using nothing but landmines. In case you need a reminder, this is Pete, who you know spent several years of his life perfecting the art of landmine tacticianry. That's a made-up word, but what's not a figment of my imagination is the success I envision you'll have as a landmine survivalist if you follow my advice. Last time around, Pete helped you learn the basics of getting started in the business of landmining, from improvisation, to making your own landmines, to even getting your own farm, which is where our journey today begins. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of this later, but before we get there, it's important I bring everyone up to speed with Pete's progress since the end of last video and set the stage for today's lesson. The goal is to turn this farm into a passive landmine generator, and since there's no fast travel and survival, and the further away you get from home, the more dangerous it gets, you'll need to live off the nearby land so as to quickly invest back into the farm. You'll be surprised how quickly this place will build itself up using locally sourced material, but you'll still run into some problems along the way. Ah, God! <laughs> I don't know where the red scorpion is, and I'm not taking any gambles. Trudy? Okay, it's still on danger. That thing's gonna pop up anytime. We learned this in the glowing sea. Oh, bloatflies. Oh, nice. Okay, other, other animals joined the party. What are you? What are you? How am I running into everything now? Uh, uh. Trudy? Oh my god, these guys are in a shootout too! Now these two right here, Patrick and Trudy, they are the best method for raising money, which usually translates into much needed materials. Almost every single day they have some sort of bandit attack or random encounter. I don't know what's going on at this exact intersection, but you'd think there's a giant sign close by saying free stuff! Come one, come all, we don't defend ourselves here. The amount of bodies that Trudy and Patrick will freely stack up for you to loot and sell will fast track a ton of your progress. Not just because you have some money and you're only using landmines doesn't mean you can't go hunting like a true survivalist. I mean, look, we have three marks right here. That's three deer right for the picking. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a landmine here. I'm gonna run behind them and try to herd them. I'm gonna use my Red Dead Redemption experience. Run, run, run away. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> yes, it actually worked! Over time, you'll have more settlers producing more stuff and helping you obtain all the critical ingredients you'll need to produce a constant flow of these gorgeous little square lunchboxes of death. Vegetables to make adhesive, fertilizer which can be purchased in bulk quantities from Connie Abernathy or just passively produced by having cows eat invisible food out of a tub and presumably shit right into the workbench. Steel which can be found or purchased almost anywhere, it's one of the easier ones, and vault tech lunchboxes, which we learned last episode, can be easily produced using steel. Lastly, there's oil, that natural resource that humans have been blowing each other up over for centuries so that they can become more efficient at blowing each other up. Oil is a tricky one because we lost our only source to buy bulk oil from nearby when Trash Can Carlo was turned into a meat smoothie. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. Do you Are you looking for Carla? This is all I got for you. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, bud, but... Uh, that's your owner. Don't give me that look! So you'll have two options here. The first is crafting cutting fluid, which requires tons of bones and likely a trip to the nearby cemetery for some grave robbing. All right, all right, we got the bones. Awesome, where's the... I know if I go in one of these, I'm gonna get jumped by a bandit, and I think it's this one. So let's just prevent that from happening, huh? How many bones did we get? Bones, bones, bones. Just look at them all. Mole rat teeth. 
rib cage, rib cage, and pelvis. This certainly isn't a bad move, but it's like putting a band-aid over a cannonball wound. In order to feed your addiction for explosion, you're gonna need to find a new supplier. Gonna be a see. I don't like getting into a combat engagement here because I know it's ghouls. Close the gate. Now he's got to open the gate. All right, one down. <laughs> That's how we do it. I'm getting good at this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. The truck's gonna kill me. Don't take another route. Don't get smart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Stay dumb. Don't get cute with me. Yeah, I, I should just take what I can from this place. What? 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 No! No! Oh, no! Why? What? On what plan? One thing you'll learn about this lifestyle as you search for an oil supplier. Trial and error wins the day. I don't even have a joke written here about this. I'm being serious for once. I know your enemy. Think like them. All right, I got an idea. Two for one special right here. Landmine right here. We're going to aggro this first one. We're going to come aggro this second one. Hello, hello, come on out. There's a radiation storm on the way. Excuse me. And we're gonna run this way, loop him around. Bring him out the front gate. I'm literally God. But don't just know your enemy, know the engine. Understand the rules of the game. It's meant to be played differently this way. I mean, this tent could be recognized as a solid object, like explosions. Might not go through it. All you need is a little bit of fabric C. Never once been wrong. Never made a mistake in this entire run. Oh, okay, I'm out. I'm out. Hey. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The second one came in. Oh, fuck. Changing your playstyle completely means changing your mindset, leading to more creative outcomes and saving landmines, as well as your life along the way. I've never seen this guy out here before. Look at all these cats! How much XP do I get for each one if I toss a landmine into the pen? Cat and meat? Oh, so you are killing the cats and selling them. You're psychotic! I can't let this operation continue. Where's he at? Oh, he's sitting right in the chair. Okay, perfect opportunity. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, I don't think any of the cats made it out. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe a bit unnecessary. That was a tad cruel. But Pete didn't survive four years in Chinese minefields being nice, and you won't either. These three moments highlight what this playstyle is all about. I won't have time to explain every enemy and encounter coming up. Trust me, there's a lot. But if you can understand a bit about predicting enemy pathing, protecting yourself using the environment, and thinking of creative solutions to a given problem, I think you'll come to appreciate this playstyle as much as I did, and maybe give it a try yourself someday. Your search for oil should take you to Vault 81, an underground, hyper-advanced facility with a functioning society. They have to have oil, right? Open up. Old Pete's coming home. Hold it right there. Fusion cores. Mm -hmm. Refusion cores? I'll do it. Good. Using the money you've saved up from Trudy and Pat's murder sprees, you can buy the fusion cores required to get in from Cricket just outside the vault. Finally, friendship. It only cost me 1500 bucks. Once inside, you'll want to start allying yourself with the vault's population by performing favors and tasks. Wait, wait, that, that's the cat that's gonna run. Don't worry, I can stop the cat from leaving. Oh, there it goes. What is it with you and cats? Can we, can we... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, actually, I've got a better idea. Hey, Outsider, do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Need some drugs? Huh? Hell yeah. Thanks, man. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. Don't let Tina know. <laughs> Tina. I never should have gotten him started on Jet. No, you hey, shouldn't man, have. You got any more Jet on you? Uh, yeah, sure. You want some? Sure. Here you go. You're a life Tina. Hey, Bobby. Here you go. You're a life saver, man. Tina. Bobby. Here you go. Tina. You got any jet? 
Hook me up. Here you go. What a genius move, exploiting the addiction of a desperate vault dweller to get some of that money you wasted getting in here. Not only are you a survivalist, but you're a prime example of community service. If you want to keep providing a valuable service to the vault, you'll want to make the journey to Diamond City to take on a quest that's sure to provide you money, but more importantly, a truckload of jet large enough to keep the Incredible Hulk ripped for an entire month straight. You'll know you're close to Diamond City when you run into a group of super mutants shooting it out with the town guard. All right, maybe we can do something sneaky and cool here. <laughs> the power of that landmine put his gun into the wall like a dart. It's gotta be nice and slow. Okay, this one, I think he'll be upset if he finds us. Good work, everybody. <laughs> Salute. Very nice. Good victory. You're learning and you didn't die there at all. After watching Piper's incredibly strange facial animation, stop by the Colonial Tap House, watch Paul get rocked by the man sleeping with his wife, and pick up the quest Diamond City Blues. I'll spare you the details, but you're going to be tackling one of the more puzzling encounters you'll take on in this run as you attempt to crash a drug deal. You won't be going alone, though. Whoever makes it out of this encounter alive will be your bait. Yeah, I'm not with Paul. I just need an excuse to start the quest. What? The meeting point is just down the road, and there are five hostels in total. At the time, I have three landmines. Let's take a look at the situation from our state-of-the-art tactical drone that we sent out to survey the area. This is an open setting, not a lot of hallways or corners that we can catch them running around when the fighting starts. We're at a severe disadvantage here. If this was indoors, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. With three landmines, we need to at least take out four with two or five all at once. Our main objective is to seal off any exits that they might possibly take using our landmines and hopefully getting a multi-kill. Like I said before, the game's different now. Trial and error, think like your enemy and find a creative solution. You should be able to work your way around these buildings to get a good angle on them. Wait a minute, so you need me to initiate it? No, no, you first. You first. Okay, but don't leave me hanging. Wait, that was really fast. I thought you were... Oh no, oh, that's bad. This did not work. Oh, this could not have gone worse. Nope, 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 nope. This is not happening. Come on, they're right by it. Step on it. You're right there. Someone step on my landmine so I can at least take one of you ass out with me. So we'll go around the right side. How close can I get before initiating conversation? There's not a lot of coverage on this part of the road. So edge, puddle, sidewalk. That's the formation we're going with. This has got to work. Two, three down. No, he went wide. He went wide. He just missed it. I had a feeling that I should have taken that third one and gone wider with it. Oh, man. This is it. Moment of truth. Henry, you ready? Move. Someone move. Someone move. Second one went off. It worked. There's only one left. Okay. That's what I thought would happen. We have one guy left. We gotta go down this alleyway. I'm risking it. Go, Pete. Run. Oh, no. Oh, no, I actually died. I thought I'd make it. You know what this encounter taught me? While I cower behind cover and let Henry lead the charge into battle, I forgot the most important part about being a landmine survivalist. Nobody is more badass than you. And when push comes to shove, sometimes you just need to say fuck it and face things head on. I'm here for the chems and the money. Oh, and to kill you all. What? But shit! What's that? Go, 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 go! Get behind cover! Oh my god! I got them all! In one landmine! World record! Oh my god! The money raised from this Colombian-sized heist will surely give you a boost, whether it's building up the farm, emergency capital, or you just want to get absolutely fried with your buddy Bobby again in the electrical shaft. Between now and the end of this video, there was a ton of grinding, trips back to the farm, running across the map, but we're going to skip all that crap because what's most important right now is helping out the citizens of Vault 81 and finding an oil source. There's a child named Austin in Vault 81 who ventured into the hidden back rooms, got himself bit by a mole rat, and now it's your job to locate the vacuum 
vaccine for his disease. The hidden back rooms of Vault 81 are crawling with mole rats, turrets, robots, all sorts of enemies you haven't battled much up until this point. But given everything you've learned and now know about this playstyle, it can't be that bad, right? Okay, alright, that was quick. Wasn't expecting that already. That was an amazing toss right around the corner. All right, we got our save checkpoint. Now we can get risky. Whoa, hey, 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 how the hell am I gonna take out a turret? I forgot that this game had turrets. Shit, that makes things a little bit more complicated. Oh, hey, Mr. Robot. Continuing your attempted escape is on. It's only what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, I'm gonna run for this door right here. So I'm already down to, what do we have? Five landmines. All right, that didn't, that did not work. Okay, <laughs> it works if bait the bot to a mine near the turret. Wait a minute, that's a great idea. Now we need that Protectron to come out. If the Protectron comes out of the doorway, walks onto the landmine, it should blow up the turret as well. Ah, no, no, you missed, go back, go back, go back. Are you kidding me? Come on. Wrong, wrong, you cheated. The mole rats show unusual degrees of aggression in captivity. That's actually how most of my YouTube videos end up going. Come on, do it for Pete. Do it for landmine survivalism. We got them both. Chat, you guys are brilliant. What did I, what did I tell you? You are smart, you can do this. You're not cringe. Oh, hey. When his shots run out, we go for it. Another turret right there. Novice terminal, can we take him over? A. R. That's it. What would help me out the most? Medical responder? All right, all right, you're supposed to be a medical unit. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. This stand closer to the, the landmine is to your left. We're just gonna activate the unit. I don't care about its personality, and we're gonna go for it. Woo! Goodbye. And that, my friends, is how you solve a problem. Whew. Now that we have the vault cleared out, we can... Wait, you mean to tell me there's a second half to the vault? Oh, you gotta be... Oh, okay, there's one right under us now. No, 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 no. Stop, get, just stop it. Stop giving me that look. Walk over here. Yes, yes, good boy. Oh, you're, oh. I mean, that works. Take the stairs. You know you want to take the stairs down. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, shit, that almost killed me. God damn it, bastards. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, no, no, damn it. Escape. Jump to our safe spot. Turret in the death zone. Are you shitting me? Ah, get out of here. Get out. You're in the death zone. Okay, back one worked. Yes, yes. Come on. There we go. One left. All right, how many more rides did we take out? We only took out one per... I, I'm sleeping right around the corner. Oh man, I am surgical. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> this, one, this one died wild digging. I'm sorry, but he's, he almost got home. He's just out of reach. How did that landmine go off and not kill you? Oh, now that is bullshit. <laughs> They're all behind me. Why do you have to do the underground shit? Dude, dude, fuck off. Are you kidding me? How did you avoid that? You son of a... Oh, I hate you all so much. Is it dead? 
<laughs> Did we get him? He's trying to escape. Don't let him get away. <laughs> Incredible. Utilizing all the skills we've learned thus far, you have conquered Vault 81, and with the cure in hand, you can finally grant Austin his one true wish. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. You what? You've just sentenced Austin to death! But he'll never have to go to school anymore, Doc. And a true hero makes dreams reality. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. Am I gonna? I'm not gonna blow this cat up. Here comes Ashes down the street. All right, if Ashes can avoid my landmine, Ashes can go home. <laughs> I have a confession to make. Vault 81 doesn't actually have bulk oil for sale. I just needed an excuse to move the story here. But hey, for roleplay sake, Let's just pretend that they don't understand my heroics and are mad that we granted a child his make-a-wish. It's about the journey, not the destination, right? So what now? How do you take your land mining to the next level without an oil source? Well, what I did was spend several hours grinding out purified water at my settlements, connecting them using the local leader perk so they could share crafting materials, selling hundreds of excess purified water for profits, buying more junk from Trudy, and building a useless and elaborate landmine maker. Sounds complicated, and it certainly was a lot of time and grinding, but uh, it was kind of fun to do. This made making about 15 to 20 landmines on each return trip pretty easy, and of course, charting the map with a new settlement is satisfying. But we've still only ramped up production of every landmine ingredient not named oil. The answer to your prayers is that good neighbor. Jesus, what? Okay, D does everybody out here have to be severely armed? Lying deep within the city and surrounded by countless enemy encounters, you'll need to be prepared. But by this point, I think you'll be able to take on any challenge. That's a dog. Oh God, get away from- No, 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 not the legs, not the legs, you- Defend me, wall. That wall, this, this wall should- Okay, all right, it did block him off. Woo, that was close. Okay, the bridge should be right here, thank God. <laughs> that was horrifying. Bridge right there, that looks like it's our way across. Let's take it. Let's go for it. Fire! Didn't want to do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 I'm rolling into a death trap right here. Get around the corner. I'm not done teaching you today. This right here is what I ended up referring to as getting greedy. See, with the landmine run, one of the main methods of getting kills is to toss a landmine, tuck behind a corner for cover. But sometimes when you have two trailing enemies, you kind of get greedy and you try to go for that second one when you should cut your losses and leave. I wasn't very happy after this one because I knew what I did wrong. No! Oh my god, no, 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 this is the same courthouse I was in front of last time. All right, I'm gonna take the side entrance. We're on the side of the building. Oh, there's a dog there, nice. Okay, let's put up a trailer behind us. Whichever side opens up and kills something. That's the side, oh, no, 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 wait, don't shoot. I need you to walk forward. Good boy, good boy, good boy. That's that, we need you to follow the program. Might be some good cover in this parking garage, but parking garages are always where enemies hide out. So we need to get past these two. Oh, great, this is right where the journey ended last time. God, that was close. Come on, buddy. Come on. Thank Got him. Nice. All right. There it is. Good neighbor. Just down the street, just within reach. Unlimited oil potential. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, I did it again. I actually just did it again. I'm... I'm, I, I, am I, am I gonna be afraid of a turret? Like, okay, maybe I should be more afraid of a turret. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, wow. No way. Okay, it's a straight shot. I either have gunners to my left, I have mutants to my right, but maybe the small little alleyway in front of me to my left will just take me to Good Neighbor. Good Neighbor is right down the road. Yeah, yeah, we like it. That's it? All that nonsense. I'm just going into Good Neighbor. Hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Does Pete look like a guy 
who the first conversation he has with his child when they reach the age of 21 isn't about insurance. So you found Cleo, who apparently the Fallout fan base has a pretty strange and really passionate crush on. I'll admit, I see the attraction, but only as a vehicle to creating more landmines for myself. Congratulations, and for what it's worth, welcome to Good Neighbor. You've got a nice hotel to sleep and save in, a nice little checkpoint area while you're holed up downtown. There's quite a few activities in town, like pranking the mayor's speech. What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? Haha, <laughs> me, pranked! <laughs> Pranking the excavation union. I'm your guy. No one likes a brown noser. No one likes a no noser. All right. The fuck Fail. off, Bobby. Fail. Bobby can take this job and Are you? F and pranking the vault tech salesman in the hotel. All the way back here, I have to ignore this dickhead again. <laughs> You definitely want to make sure to go home with multiple oil shipments, and they can get really pricey, so utilizing the space between both Good Neighbor and the safe zone to the north, Bunker Hill, is a fantastic way to raise money and XP. Of course, the surrounding area is much more dangerous than back home, but the spoils and proximity of safe zones make hanging out here for a while worth it. Just don't expect these idiots to save your life when it comes down to it. I'm a resident of this finest- oh, oh, there's a dog coming in! Help! Unbelievable. One of the best places to get a ton of cash is conveniently right next door to Good Neighbor, the Mass Fusion Building. It's a great challenge and a true benchmark of a veteran landmine survivalist. Uh uh, no, you don't see anything. Look away. There you go, there you go. Learn to follow orders. Oh, fucker! Alright, one for one special, it works. We got one of them. What are they what are they doing? Why are they edging me right now? They're like, uh, 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 maybe. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, I'm just playing. Or maybe I'll shoot you. No, no, no. Am I safe? Now, listen, gentlemen, that is my move. You can't steal my move. It is close. Easy. That was a quick movement. I don't like quick movements. Ah, fuck, fuck. Uh, this is really close. His damn teammates had blocked the. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, that is the story. I thought I got fired from Jimmy John's. No! Hey, hey, how are you? Cool exit down the hole. That was badass. There we go. That's got to get him. Come on. Both of them. Two for one special. Oh, I love when death is on discount. Ah. Ah, uh -huh. Hey, 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 hey. Cannot sleep when enemies are nearby. I've had it. I'm pissed. Pete's pissed. You want some of this? Come and get it, you bastard. Okay, that's bad. Ah! I didn't think he'd actually shoot the thing. Hook, line, and sinker. Rest in peace. See a bozo. L. Ratio. There it is. Oh my god, why would I do this? Why would I- why would I do that? How the fuck- how can, how can I get sick? How can I get more sick? Alright, on the far end of the room, two of them. Uh, I thought that was going to get me. Last mistake. Waste of two landmines, though, on one kill. Hey, hey, you're not allowed to run past the landmine like that. She's coming from behind. Come on. I know you want to. There you go. That just If you follow instructions, this whole process is much easier. What kind of psychotic parents would get this toy for their children? It's horrifying. Oh, huh. Okay. All right, boss battle. I mean, we've got his pathing figured out. He's going to hit the outside of this door. I just have to make sure that I'm safely tucked around the corner. Shit. Oh my god, he's developed moonwalking. He fell in the hole. 
Ahoy! Bombs ahoy! Bombs away! Bombs ahoy! Come on, back. I'm right here! <laughs> Where are you going? Hey! I'm right here! Come and get me! You gotta be kidding me with this prick! Finally! Jesus! I've never seen somebody take such a convoluted route around this place. With an oil supplier located, his tactics nearly perfected, and essentially an infinite money farm between settlements, Pete has achieved his lifelong goal of raining landmines wherever he walks. However, something's been missing from Pete's life. It's always been his dream to create his own unique weapon of mass destruction. In the effort of brevity, because I have to drive my grandmother five hours up north for the Thanksgiving holiday in a few hours, love you grandma, if you happen to take an interest in Fallout content someday and stumble upon the channel, I present to you the shopping cart it bomb. Best I could come up with at 4 in the morning, give me a break. If you want to watch me accidentally blow myself up nearly 100 times, all the streams are on my second channel. Okay, mwah. love you friends, see you again soon. You know what? Oh, for f***ing f sake, man, just go for it. I'm so...